What's up, you guys? So before we get into this video, me and my brother, Mr. Young Reese, uh, Yo. have to give a very exclusive shout out to the at-home game that you can play called Hunt a Killer. Hunt to Kill. So, are you guys into secret investigations and CSI just like I am? Because if you are, you're gonna enjoy this to the fullest. So the game Hunter Killer is a mysterious murder investigation game. Whether you guys like to have a game night or you guys like to have a family night, just like me and my brother and our family, basically what you guys are gonna be doing is you're gonna be bringing together everybody that is at the party or your family members and you guys are gonna be challenging them to decode ciphers, examine clues, and solve all the puzzles in the game. It's basically like an escape room. You know like the escape rooms? Mm -hmm. It's basically like an escape room at your crib. Okay. So it comes with documents, evidence, audio recording, case files. It even comes like in packages like where you really feel like a real investigator. Another cool thing about it is if I didn't want to play with him, I can because this game you could play solo. So, <laughs> you feel me? This game starts at a low price of $25. Low price. Literally $25. And if you guys don't believe me and you think I'm just telling a lie, they have 2,000 five-star reviews on True Pilot, so go check them out. And last but not least, my very favorite thing about this game and you guys purchasing the game at home is the fact that a portion of the proceeds go to Cold Case Foundation. That's an organization that helps solve real-life cold cases. So, you guys, if it's not obvious enough yet, this is definitely the game for you guys. My favorite part about Hunter Killer game is that I have had a personal experience with it and me and my brother we played it at our new crib the other night I love it because it actually feels like I'm kind of like in a Netflix movie you guys know how like CSI movies it feels like you're in the movie this makes it realistic enough to where you feel like you're a real investigator so one last time if you guys would like a dope board game to go ahead and play at the crib with your family or friends I will go ahead and I'll attach hunterkiller.com and put the link in the description down below you guys can go ahead and use my code justice for 20% off you know what I'm saying you guys know I hook you up with the discounts and stuff like that I love y'all so much now enjoy this video oh, got a bag I spent it had to get the new thing tinted she gonna throw a bag in the backseat hit a foreign in the foreign it's different she gonna let me buzz it down buzz it down she gonna let me buzz it down What's good everybody? Welcome to the official second episode of NTV Cribs hosted by your boy Nick Lumark. Not only is this the second episode of NTV Cribs, but this is Jay Cook's official house tour for his new crib. I'm talking to the Cookie Gang today, I'm talking to the Mark fam today. I'm taking all y'all to Jay Cook's crib and he's gonna show us around. Also, if you're not subscribed to both of our channels, this is on behalf of both of us, if you're not subscribed to our channels, make sure you press that button down below and go subscribe to us. Go hit that bell button, that like button, you already know what to do. So, as majority of us already know, YouTube pays its creators. It seems like nobody really knows how much YouTubers really make on the platform, but we are gonna go upstairs right now and see how Jay Cook is living. Let's go. Is this NTV? What's good, bro? At my door? It is. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh. Before you walk in, before you walk in, bitch, don't wear no shoes in my house. No, I'm just kidding. You good, you good. <laughs> Usually people go ahead and take off the shoes. Uh, welcome to the crib, you know what I'm saying, Cookie Gang. Uh, I know you guys been waiting on this video for forever. So, you know, we had to have the one and only NTV Cribs come check us out. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go ahead, go through our whole little four-story, well, three stories of the crib, but we have a garage, so technically I call it four-story. You know what I'm saying? Four-story loft. I did move back to Arizona with my brother. So me and my brother, Mr. Young Reese, he's over there getting a haircut right now. We're gonna say what's up to him after I show y'all a little bit around the crib. But yeah, we moved out here and this is our pad. You know what I'm saying? So first off, when you walk in, this is honestly my very favorite piece in the property. You know what I'm saying? On the property. I call it a property because I wish it, I, I owned a crib, but it, it's a, you know what I'm saying? It's a loft, but apartment-ish. So basically what it is, first when you walk in, this is, um, or what's his name? This is a uh, 
I don't even remember his name. I, I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I know who this is. I, I literally, um, but I just think it's dope because it's cool little pictures. You guys will see a lot of pictures. When Nick gets behind that camera, I'm going to have him take a couple pictures of me uh, right here with this setting. Pretty cool when you walk in, girls can take pictures. You know what I'm saying? When they come to the crib, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we also got this little green, lavish furniture seating area. I don't really know if this is more for like just the pictures or if this is for like, you know, someone wants to walk in the door instead of actually walking in the crib, they want to sit down. So yeah, so cool little green, you know what I'm saying? Lavish looking furniture, it just looks cool. Um, so boom, so when you walk in, you know what I'm saying, we have a great, a great open, bright area um, for us to walk around. The natural um, light. Yeah, natural lighting key, you know what I'm saying? Y'all wanna take pictures? You can't have no, oh, let me go turn on a light bulb and take a picture. You gotta have that, that lighting just beaming through, you know what I'm saying, feeling hot, real heat, all that. Um, we got a ping pong table. So the cool thing is, you know what I'm saying, when we have like little like kick bags or you know what I'm saying, I'm just bored in the crib, you know, bored in the house and I'm in the house bored, right? <laughs> we be playing the uh, ping pong, you know what I'm saying? I be smacking Jordan some ping pong. We be playing, <laughs> say you don't. We be playing money, we be playing for money. And uh, right now I don't have the ping pong. Where's the ping pong paddle? You were listening when I told you they're, they're up in this cabinet. Oh, yeah. well, we, right, we do have ping pong paddles and balls just so y'all think we just have it for looks. This is Fern. Uh, this is my homie Fern right here. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> RP. RP, my nigga Fern, okay? Uh, he first came off. Just wait, wait to throw me the ball in the alley when, uh, you know what I'm saying? But uh, Fern, you know what I'm saying? When we first got here, you know, his hair, something about his hair just looked real droopy. And then, I don't know what happened. He just stopped talking. So everybody go ahead, spam the comments below and say what's up to Fern. RP Fern. Fern. One of my favorite additions to my crib. If you guys remember when I showed the penthouse tour when I was living in LA, uh, I was real big on like the LED lights that we had set up with like the little view. So one thing that me and my brother still need to do, we're actually going to pick up the stuff today, is um, we're gonna be adding LED lights. But the first LED light addition is the on-air sign. I feel like this is a big representation of what me and Jordan do, you know what I'm saying? We're both on air. We're both either filming YouTube videos or you see him on live and he's going doing talent talent shows or he's making music you feel me so we're always working always with cameras so it's just perfect for the crib fits it well cool little addition at nighttime it looks dope i have these paintings still need to hang up um they look kind of funny on the floor but they also don't look that bad so i'm not really tripping i also have you know what i'm saying a big old what's this an 80 inch this an 80 inch or 75 inch what is it it's like a 55. I was trying to make it look cool. <laughs> See, this is a 55 to 65 inch. I don't know what it is. We'll just say 65 inch. <laughs> Pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, and it's a swivel. You know what I'm saying? So if I won't be on that side of the couch, I'll swivel like that. I won't be on that side of the couch, I'll swivel like that. Hopefully I won't break it. Also, I was able to move in the furniture from uh, my penthouse. So I did get the rug, glass table, cool little like modern uh, accent for the crib, you know what I'm saying, like that. And then we also got the white, very plush, you know what I'm saying, what they call it, plush? Very plush couch, you know what I'm saying? Real, oh. <laughs> you know what real I'm saying? Real cozy. Well, I'm kicking back real cozy, you know what I'm saying? I can have about three of my homies sleep on there if they want, cause you know what I'm saying, we be getting lit, I can't lie to y'all. So, I honestly don't know really what this is doing here. <laughs> you, do you know what this is doing here? Yeah. It was a gift. Yeah, Big shout out to my homie at Hypeland uh, Streetwear. I still got the rug, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make use of it somehow. But honestly, this is like an old people area. So if my grandparents come over, they can read a book or some shit right there. Other than that, I don't care about it. All right, y'all. So then, right outside the living room area, I also have a big tendency of kicking it outside, you know what I'm saying? Just just looking at the view, you know what I'm saying? Just just chilling, maybe be on my phone a little bit, maybe edit some videos or whatever. So we do have this little area where we get to kick back. Kick back and chill, you know what I'm saying? So uh, we do have these little two little rocking chairs, you know what I'm saying? And once again, big shout out to my homie at Hype Land. I got another rug right there. Pretty big, spacious uh, balcony. For the living room area, we have a balcony and we have more up top, so I'll show you there. What's happening? Usually after I'm kicking it out there, for some reason I just tend to get a little hungry. <laughs> so 
So I end up eating, you know what I'm saying? I end up eating and we actually have a dinner table this time. I swear to God, you guys, this is the first crib I've ever had where I've actually had a dining table. When I'm talking right now, it's not cleaned up like it should be. Um, but it is pretty cool. We have these cool little like, it's cool little like chandelier thing. I thought it twisted, but it don't. Oh, actually, nah, I might twist it off and break it, so I'm not gonna do that. But <laughs> cool little uh, dining table, cool to eat, you know what I'm saying? Actually feel homey, real family vibes. And then we got Mr. Young Reese himself over here getting the cut. So, I'm here. We tend to need to get haircuts. Jordan gets a haircut extra a week. So, I get one haircut a week, sometimes two, depending on how I'm feeling. But Jordan definitely stays up with the two haircuts a week. We have a personal in-home barber that pulls up every week for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and let him shout himself out. What it do to the stand, y'all. You know what it is. It's your boy D1. You go ahead and follow me at Perfection. I'm the coldest barber out here in AZ, you feel me? I'm just keeping it a thousand with y'all, you dig? Real shit, he is the hardest barber. And I'm gonna be straight up with y'all. I've been going to him. We both been going to him for about What's it been like? It's three like three, years? four years three, almost. Four years now? Crazy. Reese, would you like to say anything about the crib or anything before we, you know what I'm saying? It's Young Reese. This is our. Reese's pieces. This is our sanctuary and our home, so do not try and come and find us because this is where we feel safe. So leave it at that. We have a gray marble, like an island. So uh, I've always wanted an island because I don't want to have to eat at the dinner, ta dinner table if I want to eat. I don't want to have to eat on my coffee table right in front of the TV if I want to eat. I want to be able to have three different spots, not just two. I want three, you feel me? So I got gray marble looking like I got some money, you feel me? I really don't, but it looks like it, you know what I'm saying? And then we got, a, uh, we got yellow accents chairs you know what i'm saying for that ass this is fern's best friend i told you guys about fern now fern fern this this dude's been keeping up we've been keeping that's up. what i'm saying his best <laughs> friend. matter of fact water him right now there's a there's, just get a just get a cup of water no no <laughs> no help me oh, help me what are you doing <laughs> like what are you doing bro i swear to god i didn't even press the thing <laughs> no, for real just keep that in there keep that all right, y'all, so uh, that didn't go as planned. I was gonna water my nigga Fern's best friend, but. You know what you could have done? What? Slide it over. Okay, I thought that this, <laughs> like, tell me the spring don't look like it's not going. Bro, I <laughs> I'm all scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we gonna stop playing with, with, my, with my homie's best friend. That was Fern, that was Fern, he's an angel. See, I told you, stop playing with him. All right, y'all, so uh, boom, we got the kitchen area, obviously. Then we have all like the little basic stuff. You know what I'm saying? White cabinets, silver fridge and shit. Um, also, another cool thing to do, you know what I'm saying, when we all kick it back at the crib, is uh, shooting the ball. Okay, let's see if you can make it. Wait, you. with the left hand? Nah, no, I gotta switch, I gotta switch. Y'all know I'm wet, dude. Oh. oh! One more. This is for the cooking guy. If he can hit it. Oh! <laughs> Alright, I got y'all. If I hit this, if I hit this, I swear, I will literally Somebody comments down below, cash app winner. I will cash app somebody a hundred dollars at the end of the night time when this video goes up. Looks like y'all not getting a hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Oh, shoot, I forgot. We also do have a bathroom downstairs um, for guests so they don't got to come up in our restaurant. I actually think this bathroom is better than my bathroom. I don't know, y'all could have your own opinions on it. My nigga Albert Einstein, we got this gold and like, looks rich, cool little gold uh, mirror, that's dope. If you guys need like an accent for your bedroom, I would get a mirror like this. It's actually like a hanging mirror, but it looks like it's mounted, it's pretty cool. That was obviously the second level, you know what I'm saying? That's where everybody stays. And then this, we gonna show you kinda, I wouldn't say where the magic happens, but you know what I'm saying, where we get to chill. So when you first walk up, we have a washer and dryer room right here. Nothing too crazy. I know you guys aren't interested in seeing that. Just a whole bunch of laundry going on. I suck at doing laundry, but I'm starting to get good at it. I'm starting to learn to be on a schedule. This part is actually Reese's room right when you walk up the steps. Obviously, like I said, I'm not going to show you guys too much of the details in his room because I'm not getting into his personal goods. But I think he does have a cool little setup. He has a TV, you know what I'm saying? His TV is actually as big as the TV 
in the living room, which is a 55 inch. I thought it was an 80 inch or 55 to 65 inch. We don't know. Uh, he also has a cool little like modern bed set up. He has some dry clothes on there. He has his PS4, so when I be whooping him in some PS4, he got that. Cool thing that Jordan has that I actually am thinking about copying him. I'm thinking about jocking him. I don't want to jock him too much just because Jordan be on me too much about it. But uh, these shoes right here, he got his cool little setup of his ones. He has a lot of ones. He's jocking me because he just bought these when he's seen I got them on my feet. Um, he's trying to match me like like he's my girlfriend or something, but just go tell him like Jay Cook had them first. He actually has a balcony on his um, bedroom floor. I'm not going to show you guys that, but he does have a balcony right here. Reese actually has a walk-in closet and a cool little bathroom. I'm not going to show you guys that either, but uh, just so you know, he is up to par right now. You know what I'm saying? With his bedroom, it's up there. I can't lie to y'all. And he does have the natural lighting so that when he wakes up, he don't be up as early as me, but he be up. But we are going to go straight into my room. So the thing with my room, I want you guys to know is I have so much plans for it. I have an actual, like I have a bunch of canvases that I want to get. Um, I have a big mirror that I want to put in there. I also want to do the LED lights again because I had that in my room in the penthouse in LA. Oh, before we get into my room, we also do have a recording studio that is actually in the process of getting built right now. Um, we have all the equipment. We're just trying to figure out what we're going to do with it for obviously young Reese. He records music and uh, like your homie friend when he comes down to visit producers. All that, big shout out to them doing their thing. Going to my room, I have a very big square triangular room. I have like a mixture of like baby stuff slash my room stuff. It is kind of scattered. There's not really a lot of stuff in here right now. Like I said, we have my dresser. Uh, I do have this cool little see-through chest thing. Pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? Keep my little designer stuff right there. I don't got too much of it, but I got a little show, show. I also have my bed. Obviously, you guys know I like that white and that gray. Just clean, modern look. Um, I have my daughter's crib right here just because I don't want her to be too far away from me. I also have my closet, you guys. It's like a mini like walk-in closet. Lots of shoes I'm still adding to my collection. If you guys have been following me recently on Instagram, if you don't go follow me at jcook2jiggy. I have been trying to stack up all my shoes and really be fly with my outfits. For example, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, this is the like half furnished tour, but I'll do a later tour when we actually get the shit fully furnished and it'll be even better. I got a little bit of my, my, my daughter's, like my favorite outfits of her that she hasn't worn yet that I do want to get her in when she gets a little older. And then all of my clothes, obviously nothing too crazy going on here. As you guys can see, like the lighting, it's natural. And that's, I love because when I wake up, now I wake up at like 8 a.m. Cause I suck at waking up. I usually be waking up at like 1 p.m., 2 p.m. Since I've been a daddy though, now you wake up early you stay up late. So that's my room. When you come in here, we have the uh, bathroom. I like the bathroom because it reminds me of uh, when we were house shopping. You guys seen I said like I like like bathrooms to look like as if I'm at my grandma's crib. Like it's fancy. It's like I got some money now. You feel me? The thing about this bathroom is actually the little touch screen mirrors. Obviously, you touch the screen, it turns on. You know what I'm saying? You got that cool little vanity LED lights. I also have this shower. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Well, my daughter be right there. It's perfect because I can just see her. Hey, how you doing? Doing good? All right. How you doing? 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 What's crazy, you guys, is when I first, my first night of staying here, my first night taking a shower, right? I didn't even know I had this. When I looked at the crib, I didn't even know this came with it. So what I did, you guys, is I came to turn on this came to turn it on I turned it on and I had all my clothes on and I'm like oh shit because I'm thinking it's right here right so I'm like I'm this. <laughs> boom and I like I'm like oh I get drenched like crazy drenched but this is cool too because this is basically like a second shower head um uh, some little fancy stuff I you know what I'm saying if I want to you know what I'm saying I need to wash my booty or something like that I can and then a the little toilet area you guys know and then going down there with some shit dookie <laughs> dookie And then when we go up, we have one more level, which is honestly, if not my favorite area of the crib, second favorite. And that is the rooftop, you know what I'm saying? The rooftop area, patio area. It gets hot as you walk up. So if you see me swimming, it. you feel Ooh. it? It's, hot. <laughs> it's hot, man. So uh, like I was saying, um, I tend to like to chill outside sometimes at night. 
Um, so this is honestly my favorite uh, place to chill. The reason why I like this is because it just, you can see the whole views. Um, we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna give you guys like a little walk from this side. When you come right here, there's a cool little like fire. I think this is, this is like a portable fireplace is what they call it. Um, it actually came with the loft, so that's pretty dope. Um, when it gets winter time, we'll use it, but right now it's too hot in Arizona, so I ain't using that shit. What our plans to do, me and Reese, um, we're gonna get some turf. We're gonna put some turf on the balcony, so that gives it kind of like a barbecue, like chilling look. And then we're gonna put a barbecue grill. Um, also hang like some LED lights, and maybe put like a little mini TV, like somewhere over there on the wall, like a projector or something like that, just so um, at nighttime we can have like little kickbacks and stuff, and everybody could, you know, what I'm saying, chill out like it's a backyard. I want to say thank you to NTV Cribs for coming through, checking out the pad, you know what I'm saying? Uh, big shout out to Nick Lamarck behind the camera. Make sure y'all go follow him at Nick Lamarck. Is it underscore? No. Just Nick, Nick, Nick Lamarck. Lamarck. Damn, you're lucky you got your name. See, I'm just kidding. Jay Cook. Name. Jay Cook. Well, I mean, that's my name, but 2 Jiggy ain't my name. But I do want to say thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this very um, professional NTV crib tour for Jay Cook's crib and Young Reese. Um, and I do want to say if you guys would like to see the fully, fully furnished, right now it's low key fully furnished, but if you guys would like to see the extra fully furnished tour, um, I definitely will have love to have you come through and come sure. do a part two. Um, so let's get this video to 25,000 likes. We get 25,000 likes, we will do a part two of nighttime scene as well with the LED lights, all that. Um, but other than that, I'm gonna have to kick you out because you got your shoes on your For feet. Real? It's like that. You got your shoes on your feet. <laughs> it's the like mat say. The mat like say. Bitch, don't wear it over too. Do you see that? All yeah. right, y'all. I love y'all. Shout out to NTV Cribs coming through. We out this time. <laughs> Fucking Belissi, my ankles. Suggest you pull up in your raincoat. Cause I got the drip, drip, drip. Chains wetting up the whip. How I feel like the Django.